How's it? How's it? How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Pop Culture Collectibles, where we review all things pop culture. My name is Noah, and today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome collectible figure I bought back in 2017 off of AliExpress. Now, if you guys don't know what AliExpress is, it's like a Amazon in China. Now, I bought this figure because I really wanted something from Days of Future Past, and this was like 25 bucks. I was expecting to be six inches tall. You can imagine the surprise when I got it because it's not six inches tall, it's huge. Um, but yeah, um, it was really cheap and it's a really cool figure. It got here the day after Christmas, so it pretty much worked out. Um, it took a it took a while to get here. I couldn't really get any communication with the seller, but um, besides that fact, it got here. The box was really damaged, as you can see, this huge dent in the side, but um, it's all right. But so let's go over the box. Um, on the front, um, you have this, you have Hugh Jackman here as Wolverine. It says Days of Future Past. And then you have the big X with like the 1973 city, I think. That's when the uh, movie takes place. And then the 2023, I think that's when it takes place, city over here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, now, I just watched this film a few days ago. It was really awesome. But, yeah, on the side it says Days of Future Past, we have this big dent right here in the box. But, on the back it's the poster, which is really cool. We got the Sentinels, we have Mystique, we have Wolverine, we have Old Charles, Magneto, Old Magneto Beast. Um, I'm trying to think of this guy's name. Uh, sorry, I can't think of this guy's name. This is Kitty Pride. Can't think of her name, that's Storm. And then, yeah, so sorry, I couldn't think of these two guys. Well, this guy and that girl's name, but. Um, on the side, it says Days of Future Path again, and then on the top, it says Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. Um, on the bottom, it just says the same thing. Uh, and then inside, you have a nice picture of Wolverine jumping right here with the big X. And then you have the figure inside. Um, so let's get this open. Uh. I wanted to do a review on this figure forever because it's really cool. I don't really know who it's made by. Um, it doesn't really say anything. Um, it's not like an official company, so I don't know who made this, honestly, but I don't really care. It's still a cool figure. I think you can buy this figure on eBay. I think I've seen it on eBay. Um, it's got a cool background with Wolverine's hand back there, just to show you that. So let's close this box back up. And then right here we have the plastic. Which inside there's the figure. Which, I've opened this already. I opened it when I first got it. So, imagine that, yes, there was packaging on it, so don't expect to get your figure without packaging if you order this. Um, if you can even find it. Alright, so, let's take a look at the figure. So, here, here's the figure. Um... Really tall figure, but it's he's also um he's really detailed, so I'm gonna pick up the camera. Um and there's the head. Um it's really detailed. It's got uh, the head can rotate all around, it can get a look up and look down a little bit. Um but I really like the detail of the head. Looks very nice. Um, and then down here, we have his suit that he wears in all the future scenes. Um, he's got this, um, really cool, like, silver pieces on here. And then there's, like, a silver right there. Um, and then one mistake that I always notice on this figure is if you look over here on the box, he has a silver thing on his shoulder right there and a silver thing on his shoulder right here. On here, he only has a sh silver thing on his shoulder right there. Not over there, but whatever. Um, he's got orange on the arms, and then orange on the arms here. The same. And then he's got these 
clenched hands. And then here's the bottom. He has this belt with an X on it with some buckles. And then he's got these cargo-like pants with boots. Now, the only articulation in this figure, let me set the camera back down, is, let me scoot him back so you can see him, is the head, like I said already, can rotate. And then the arms can go up. The hands can move. Um, uh, and then the arms can't really go out. There's no articulation in the legs at all. None. Um, but there's the back. He's got some nice pockets and stuff. Um, little silver buttons on the pockets. And then some... There's his hair. So, yeah. There's the figure. Now, um, in the box, he comes with two in interchangeable hands. He comes with these claws. His clawed. His claws. The hands with the claws in them. They're really easy to pop these hands out. Piece of cake. And you gotta be careful with the claws because they're fragile. And they're really easy to get into the wrists. Um, sorry, my foot was in the way. So, there's the figure with the claws in his wrists. I don't think I had this one pushed in on the way. Okay, it is. Which have articulation in the wrists. Also, um, the claws look very nice. They're silver. Sliver. Silver, sorry. Um, and yeah. Pick up the camera so I can get some more close-ups of the figure. There's the head. There's the body. There's the claws. Yeah, guys. So, that is the... I don't really know what to call it. Um... The X-Men Days of Future Past Wolverine collectible figure that I bought off of AliExpress. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.